Well, in case you missed it, state offices in South Carolina are closed today in observance of Confederate Memorial Day. Mm, how y'all celebrate that? Get together and just eat beans and think about getting your asses whipped? Who's bringing the devil chain this year? I don't know how many times I have to say a version of this. We were the bad guys and lost badly. Not much to celebrate there. I mean, you would think, if anything, it would be everyone else who would have to force us to remember this shit every year just so that, like, future generations don't forget the atrocities of our past. But no, no, it's us who are like, no, we're going to keep bringing it up just in the most horrifically offensive and inaccurate ways while also telling black people that they need to get over it. That's what we're going to do. And for what? I'm sure if you asked them, some of them would get all history professor -y, like, well, our ancestors fought and died in this conflict. Man, fuck our ancestors. I mean, I think about some of the cringy and unfortunate shit my regular papaws said when I was a kid, and then I extrapolate that by like three, four more papaws, you know? And no, fuck that guy. Abraham Crowder, whatever his name was. No, he can stay dead. I hope he's a chain ghost. I don't care. And not for nothing, I feel like a lot of y'all that are into this shit, your ancestors wouldn't be too thrilled with you either. I mean, the extreme whiteness, I'm sure they'd be down for, but like... You know, your mouth-breathing fucking skull shirt wearing asses just fatter than any human being or most livestock they ever encountered in their life. Yeah, I don't think they'd be swelling with pride. The themes of shame and defeat are so intrinsically woven into the fabric of this subject matter that uh, here is the actual reason that South Carolina picked May 10th of all days for Confederate Memorial Day. They picked it because May 10th was the day in 1863 that renowned Confederate supervillain Stonewall Jackson was shot to death by his own troops. And it's also the same day, two years later in 1865, that Jefferson Davis was caught while running away by Union forces in Georgia. So I guess at least it is a little appropriate that when deciding on the most proper day to celebrate the Confederacy, the South Carolina lawmakers pick the loseriest day in the whole sorry-ass affair, so at least there's that. And fuck all them statues, too.